new macros today. 50 fat, 280 carb, and 175 protein. I um, just got back home from training, but I'm snacking on a Rice Krispie treat right now. Um, plant coming back home, and then eating a bigger meal. So, obviously it's gonna be oatmeal and eggs, but that's what I plan on doing. I got new macros today though, so my macros are 50 fat. So I dropped it down 10 grams, and then um, carbs are kind of the same. I've been eating about 280 uh, every day, and then like same thing with protein. Either 175 to like 190 every day, so the fat is what I'm really watching. All right, we got 25 grams of egg whites. Well, worth of protein of egg whites, uh, about one egg, one packet of instant oatmeal, apple, cinnamon, and then peanut. Yeah, so I'm gonna eat this and then get ready for the gym. All right, guys, it's almost time for the gym. Um, that's why I'm eating the Rice Krispies right now. The best pre-workout snack that you can get is Rice Krispies because just they're just quick and easy carbs to get in, you know? You don't have to uh, eat a whole bunch of rice or eat a whole bunch of carbs another way. These have a decent amount of calories per little bar. So I'm gonna eat two of these before I head to the gym. Grab the best deal of the year on Charter Spectrum, best in class TV and internet service. Now you can get Charter Spectrum TV and internet. All right, guys, we made it to the gym. And uh, leg day is coming at you in about 10 minutes. All right, so I'm just gonna go over what I use to squat. I prefer to squat with and what helps me squat. So first, knee sleeves. Um, what these will basically do is warm up your joints in your, in your knees. And also, depending on how tight you get them, it kind of gives you like a, bit of, a, of an advantage because say this is my knee when you bend down the squat it like the compression of the sleeve will actually help you get back up a little bit so it'll feel like kind of like a slingshot so that's how that's how it helps me keeps your legs warm or your knees warm while you're squatting and it just adds extra comfort towards your knees um, because as soon as you start uh, squatting heavier you can feel like a, a toll on your, it takes a toll on your knees and these actually are good for that. Now, I use the McDavid large, and uh, yeah, so like I said, like depending on how how tight you get them, what size you get, um, really determines on how they'll feel like on your way up from the squat. So it'll give you that extra cushion and like the bounce that you need to get back up. The belt. Now this isn't a real Enzer belt. I got this on eBay for like $40, but it's pretty good. I like it. Um, it's red and it's a lever instead of uh, the prongs. So you clip it on like that and it goes around your waist. Now where do you want to put it? I typically like to put it a little higher sometimes. It just depends how I feel. So like I'll put it up here and strap it in like that. Or I'll put it down here so I get like the upper and the lower midsection. Once you start squatting heavier, um, you'll notice that your core, your core will start giving out depending on how, how um, strong your core is. And so what this does is it keeps it intact and it keeps your core engaged the whole time. So when you go down, your stomach, if you notice, if you go down on a squat, your stomach will come out, your abdomen will come out, and this kind of ensures that it's gonna stay in to give you the extra force to, to come back up. So these are my squatting shoes. I use the Reebok CrossFit squatting shoes, even though I don't do 
CrossFit. Um, it's just a good flat sole like this. And these two straps help you keep your feet planted on the floor um, a little better as opposed to like wearing chucks or vans or something with a flat sole. And it's really, really like tough on the bottom. So it's heavy and it keeps your foot intact instead of wobbling all the way around. If you can see how straight that is. So that's why I like to wear squatting shoes is because it gives you the extra cushion and it keeps your foot intact instead of like a, like a, um, like a rounded shoe, like a Nike. Like compared to this to this, see how it's rounded right there? This is flat, so it's gonna keep your foot flat on the floor as opposed to feeling like you're on a bed, like wobbling around. Yeah, that's what I use. Um, we're actually gonna get ready right now it's for the leg day, it's about 2.30. So I'm gonna put these on, put everything on, and I'll show you guys how it looks and stuff. Even though you probably already saw. But yeah, stay tuned for the leg day, guys. Hopefully I'll come out, come with a sick edit. I'm not sure, I might do a voiceover. I don't know, you have to see. Stay tuned. right now and uh, my mom's gonna bring me some chipotle I mean uh lava grill she's gonna bring me a chicken bowl with white rice so it should be good but yeah training went pretty good today um, didn't do a lot of stuff for legs I did like three exercises squats uh, sumo deadlifts and stiff leg deadlifts and um, so I'll, I'll just break down uh, you know 
why we did it and what um, what made me structure the workout that way. So basically, the squats, I always do squats because it's good compound movement. Um, it gets the blood going and you know, it's overall works the leg uh, for the hamstrings, the glutes, and the quads everywhere. So it's a, it's a good leg workout, so that's why I always start with it first because it's a compound movement. You want to start with compound movements first if you are a strength-based athlete. Oh, deadlifts. Now, sumo deadlifts is, is something that I do on my back days and my, um, and my leg days sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. And uh, the reason for that is because for back day, I, it, I mean, if you look back on my other videos, like I can, I can put a, a video right now on the screen and you'll see me not going down as far with my butt. Now, the reason why I do that is so that I get more uh, back activation as opposed to glute and hamstring activation. Uh, some, a little bit of quads as well, but most of it is gonna be uh, hamstring and uh, glute action. <laughs> action. Uh, hamstring and glute um, focused as opposed to lower back because I'm not on my back days like I said I'm not you know dipping my butt down as much as my leg days so after that we moved on to oh, I think Chris is here I need to get a better leg curl in here to do to do that so I've been doing stiff leg deadlifts and you know, I don't put a lot of volume on my legs, or um, I haven't been doing it lately. Usually it's been like four to five sets on the squats, and that's where I'm getting the most volume in for my leg workout. And uh, I mean, it, it, it's, it's good. Like, I only hit, sometimes I only hit legs once a week. I should be hitting it twice because I'm doing a push-pull leg right now. But uh, sometimes I'll take it off, to be honest with you. And then uh, we did some abs after that, and I didn't record anything after that. All right, what's up guys? It's 9.09 and I got like, I'd say 80 grams of carbs left, about 30 or 20 grams of fat left and like 60 grams of protein left. So I'm gonna eat Rice Krispies, peanut butter and something else, I don't know, I'll, I'll show you guys. Scoops of protein probably. That would probably be my protein source for tonight. So I'm going to have three... Okay, that's okay. Three bars of Rice Krispies. And three scoops of protein. Let's see. There you go. That leaves me at 286 grams of carbs. 44 grams of fat and 177 grams of protein. There you go. That's my macros for the night. I got three Rice Krispies to finish and three scoops of protein, guys. That leaves me at 2,280 calories for the night. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'm gonna eat these Pop Tart. I mean, Rice Krispies. Play some FIFA and uh, you know destroy some kids online. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See ya.